All right, so I wanted to show you the Galaxy Book 4 Edge, what software comes pre-installed, and kind of what the setup of this looks like. Now, it runs Windows 11, and if you've used Windows 11, it's gonna look very, very familiar to you. But if you've never bought a Samsung laptop before for Windows, this might be kind of new for you. Or if you're just interested in buying a Samsung laptop, this could be really important to you too, because you know I come from the Samsung tablet and phone world and I always get those and this was a little bit new to me in order to uh, you know check some of the stuff out so I wanted to show you guys if you're interested and if you want to purchase it it's linked down below so anyways at the bottom here I just did the newest update and actually got rid of some of the things that I had down here which was mostly Samsung stuff which is kind of weird um, it had like quick share down there and it had a folder of things that Samsung offers on the laptop in terms of software so here's the Windows key, you know, typical Windows that you would be able to have. You can go to all apps, which I'll go to in a minute. And then you can go shut down and all that other stuff. You have your search bar down here to search uh, for anything you want on the computer or pretty much online. Um, and then this other stuff is just some of my pin, pinned apps and stuff like that, which I have. Which, and again, this is changed a little bit here, but I get different desktops, my file explorer, Windows store, I've got second screen which is gonna allow you to record a, or not record, it's gonna allow you to submit, send your, what you have on here to another screen, like another Galaxy device. Chrome, Epic, DaVinci Resolve for video editing, and then an IPTV app. So I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna go, actually I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to all apps. And this is computer's great because it really doesn't come with a lot of junkware. It comes with the Microsoft apps and the Samsung apps. That's pretty much it. Everything else is what I've added to it. I've got my Blackmagic Design, which is just DaVinci Resolve, my video editing on there. You've got your Copilot, which we'll just open that real quick. It's going to allow you to just do Copilot things from creating images to asking questions to defining things. It does a lot of things. Uh, I'm not going to get too in depth with it, but that's where it is. And it has a dedicated key on the keyboard as well. Now, going back into all apps, again, Epic Launcher, I installed it. Galaxy Book Experience, Smart Switch, those are all some of the Galaxy apps. I'll go into those in just a moment. I just want to run through these apps that come on here Hulu, I installed, Instagram, IPTV. I, Chrome, I installed all of those. They were not pre-installed. The live wallpaper app is, from what I know, it's a Samsung app. It shows up in the Samsung folder and allows you to do wall, live wallpapers. And again, I will show you that in a minute because I think it's important because that's dedicated to Samsung. But all these other things, again, Netflix, I, I, uh, I installed myself, it was not pre-installed. So it's nice, it's a nice clean interface. If you're coming from a Mac, you're in Roblox, I installed. You're gonna love it. It's great that it's like this because you'll get some Windows laptops and it's filled with nothing but junk and stuff you don't want. I installed Spotify, I installed Steam, I installed Threads, I installed Viber. So literally, it didn't come with any junkware unless you count Samsung apps and Microsoft apps as junk. But let's go back here to what I was talking about earlier. We're gonna go to the Galaxy Book Experience. I'm gonna open that up. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pin this because I like this because it, it it shows you basically all the things that this can potentially do. So if you've got your Samsung account, you can go in there and check your Samsung account. But you can go into like I mentioned, live wallpaper, and we'll go into that if it loads. There we go, live wallpaper. You can see you can bring your desktop to life, keep things fresh with dynamic wallpaper, wallpapers that change throughout the day, showcase your phone's photos. It's cool like that. But when you come in here, you can come in here and like, you know, say you love uh, City Lakes, you can tap on that and feel the magic of the of the, the motion and, and, and set it as your wallpaper and it changes and it moves and it's cool. It's built into this and that's something that you know, Samsung phones can do, and it's cool to have it on this computer too. SmartThings is giving you the ability to 
I don't even use it because I, I don't really like the app, but it allows you to control your smart devices, your tags and things like that. And I have it on my phone. I barely go into it except for my smart tags to update them and sometimes look for stuff like that to, bump, to beep them. But otherwise, yeah, that, it's, it's built into the computer. Samsung Notes, I again, I don't really use it, but it allows you to sync your notes, to import PDFs. Uh, it says you can add PDF books, newsletters, templates, and more to Samsung Notes. You can draw, highlight, or write directly on PDF. So I'll probably, I probably will use this because I don't want to pay for Adobe and deal with Adobe. And if that can write on PDFs and do all that stuff, that's great for me. I would definitely use Samsung Notes for that. That's a that's a big get. Samsung Gallery for looking at your photos. The Samsung Recorder, I'm using that right now. Quick search, this will search your entire computer. It's, this seems a little bit redundant, especially with what Windows offers you. Um, but you know, if you wanna look up things with it, you can. Samsung Studio is for editing videos and, and photos and things like that. I probably won't use this. I have what I feel like is something a lot better, that being DaVinci Resolve. So again, I probably will never ever use that just close these out so you don't have to look at these. Multi-control, which is the ability to use my Galaxy Book mouse and keyboard to control my Samsung phones, tablets, and TVs. I haven't messed with this too much, um, but I'll look into it. I, I, I'll admit, I, I thought it was going to be as easy as just tapping on my Galaxy Z Fold 5 and being able to control it. It wasn't, so I got I to gotta research it a little bit more, but it's cool that it has the ability built into it to control that stuff. I That's great, especially if you're in the, the Samsung ecosystem. All that is really, really cool stuff. Quick Assist and Quick Share. So Quick Share is cool because this is going to, and I'm gonna, I think that's it right there, yeah. So I'm gonna pin that. It was pinned before, but when I just did the newest update, I think it was 24H2, it, it removed it. This is cool because if you're coming from the Mac world, you have, uh, um, you have the, uh, you can send files really quickly to each other. This is the same thing from Windows to Windows, um, or Android to Windows, Windows to Android. It allows you to do that. This is all built into it. Quick share. It does the same thing. It's awesome. Um, so I love that that this is built into here as well. I don't have to mess with anything and hope hope it works or anything like that. It's just built right into. Uh, the software and the computer. So it's nice having all that, the Samsung ecosystem built right in here. Let's go back down. I have my Samsung account, Samsung Care Plus, if I, if I had this set up in Samsung Care Plus, which I don't. Samsung Device Care. This one is kind of just like your phone. You can close things up. You can check up, make sure your auto backup is, is on, how much free storage you have. Again, your backups, if it's backed up at all, your storage. You can optimize your memory right here so it checks the memory. Next is Samsung Flow. And this app, app is seamless connectivity and can continuity across your devices. And so it basically allows you to continually use the same things across multiple devices, like multiple apps on these different devices. You have Samsung Pass on here. This is going to be all your IDs and passwords in one place. So if you save all your, which I don't, but if you have a lot of passwords and things saved on your Samsung phone or tablet, it will carry over to your computer as well. So that password manager is all built and all that um, ecosystem is all together. And that's pretty much everything that I personally noticed about um, this computer. It's, and, and I'll say I really, really like it. It's really fast. It is, it's not the best gamer. And this isn't a review, I will do a full review. Uh, it gets really good battery life, the screen is beautiful. I like this computer a lot, it's really, really nice. It's a really good build quality overall. It will get better with gaming um, as Snapdragon and Windows work together to improve drivers and performance on that side and get more app compatibility with games. But you know, outside of gaming and, and, and other things, it's a really great computer, it's really, really nice. Let me know your thoughts on this. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.